Who built the roads? 2,000 years old, it were the Romans. I learnt that in school with things about Manchester. We had the first passenger train. We created capitalism. I've decided right here, probably in Exchange Square or Royal Exchange, we had the Industrial Revolution. Industrious people we are, Miss says. That's what Mum said. Nah, not really, Mum didn't say that, too northern. It's like she can't, she can't speak English properly. It's like her tongue is locked into its ancient language. But she knows all about war. We've to write about World War II in school for history. Have to have a good essay title as well, Miss says. World War II. We fought, we won, and we all benefit, and we all feel proud. I got a confession. I know I shouldn't be thinking this, but who won when people died? And, and who is we? Are my ancestors part of that equation? There are red bricks that make up the home that I live in, stuck together by mortar. But it's like, it's like it's put together with something more than that. Like the red bricks are fused together, galvanised, that's the word. Do you know what I mean? Galvanised sounds like the word you use when the bricks were put together to make homes for men after the war. Homes for heroes. I often think that the stuff that holds together the red bricks of my city is the same stuff that you can feel in families, allowing individual people to feel like they're part of a place, part of a city, part of a country, part of this world. Oh, <laughs> I can't explain. It's like a silver piece of thread. When you feel connected, it's, it's a piece of thread, but you can't actually see it. If you could see it, then you wouldn't be able to see the world. There would be too many webs blocking our vision. Funny that. If you could see the thing that connects us, we wouldn't be able to see each other. Webs would have been a good shield for the bombs in the World War. They had those things called cluster balloons that were used to shield the city from German bombs. I'll put that in my essay. The balloons were there to confuse the Germans, to mask where our spots were, like our factories for the war efforts. Although it's not our, f for me, I, I wasn't born then. But I feel a silver thread now. It's like when you have a song stuck in your head and someone else sings it out loud. Magic. This report we have to do for history has to look at what we imagine the voices of some of the families might be during the World War, their thoughts and feelings, but I can't think of the families without thinking of my own ancestors. Is that bad? But it was a World War, so everyone experienced it. The whole world must have felt on fire. I wonder if the men and the families of World War II who these homes were built for ever imagined a family like mine living in them now? Or my nomadic mother's family ever imagined their daughter enclosed in walls like these now? Here's a silver thread to World War II. I know the theme tune to Dad's Army. It always seemed to be on the telly. Who do you think you are kidding, Mr. Hitler, if you think old England's done? <laughs> well, just that bit. The words feel warm in my chest when I sing them. Even though my mother wouldn't understand it, but she is amazing because she can navigate land by using the map of the stars. During the World Wars, they'd use all of the world's skills to try and defeat the enemy. They'd recruit masters and indigenous people of all terrain to try and fight the Germans. I bet my mum's people helped the soldiers through the desert at night to try and win the war. Maybe. <laughs> anyway, I know some of her people fought for the British, Somalilanders, soldiers. I don't know any of their names. But when men ran fleeing with their families, when civil war broke out, to neighbouring Ethiopia, the old men grabbed their old passports and army papers, only to be told their papers were obsolete, null and void. Why do they call it a civil war when it's about death? 
Don't you think that's funny? It should be called on civil war. Right now, there are hundreds of wars going on right now. Ask Prophet Google. So many wars going on, and we only hear a fraction of them. We've had wars to liberate us. World War II was about never fighting again, a war to end all wars, but we have freedom of speech as a result, I think. The world is great. There's just a lot of nonsense we've created within it. My cousin Sakella told me that during the Iraq war. Is that why we have war? For freedom and liberation? For some? For everyone? What would I say to an ancestor who fought for the British in World War II? That's my essay title. Would I say well done? Would they feel proud to have fought for queen and country? Would I tell them they fought for empire shackles and chains? They would tell me the former and I couldn't disagree with an ancestor, but who did we do it all for? We'll meet again, don't know where, don't know when. Absolute tune. The people all over the world back then, if only we knew what they felt about the war. I'm sure there would absolutely be no war again, I think. If we knew what they felt in Madagascar, Japan, America, Russia, all those places that were once or still are on fire, I'm sure there would be no more war. If we knew, maybe, how that mother felt or that child that never learnt to play or that old man who shakes at night and wets himself like a child from the nightmares of war, I'm sure there would be no more war. I think. I hope. What would I say to my ancestors who fought for the British in World War II?